The eastern curlew is the largest migratory shorebird in the world. It's found only in this part of the world and nowhere else. It's got this spectacularly long down curved beak which can be up to five times the length of its head. So it's really the first thing you notice about the bird when you see it. During its migration, the internal organ systems that it won't be using during the migration, such as the reproductive systems, shrivel up into almost nothing and then they grow back again when, they get back, when it gets to the breeding grounds. Probably my least favourite th fact about the eastern curlew, unfortunately, which is that it's critically endangered and the population is going down very, very quickly. And that's due to habitat loss. In Biodiversity Month in September, the eastern curlew will be returning to Australia from its breeding grounds in Siberia. So they will arrive in the north of Australia and throughout the month of September, they will spread all around the coast Many of them will end up in Moreton Bay in Queensland, for instance. Many will end up in Shoalhaven, New South Wales. Many will end up in Western Port in Victoria and all sorts of other locations around the coast. Many people may have seen it and not realised the sheer effort that it's gone through to get here, to fly 10,000 kilometres from its breeding grounds to get back to Australia. So if you see a shorebird, admire them from a distance, but don't go close to them and leave them alone. If people want to find out about this incredible phenomenon of nature that's happening every year all around them, then maybe they should read my book.